the Virgin Atlantic, Virgin Group, anything to do with Virgin Atlantic, the railway, anything. There's so many um, organizations they are running, Virgin Media as well. And Albert Einstein, uh, known for his theory of relativity and a couple of more other uh, less famous ideas. People think these guys were amazing and yes they are. But they didn't do it in one go. They've made so many mistakes in their lives. We easily forget that Richard Branson actually initiated. Can you, can you imagine for 10 seconds how many companies would have uh, Richard Branson started? A rough figure. He has about 20 successful companies that are running right now. So it definitely would be more than that. But if you imagine for a moment, he tried 400 companies, 400 plus companies to get there. That means he has had majority of failures. What does that mean? He has been learning iteratively, making sure that he learns from the mistakes, tries something new every time. If something was in the right direction, he would persevere or pivot. But if, it doesn't, if something doesn't work, he would perish that idea and move on to a new idea. Keep innovating. Same goes with Albert Einstein. He wrote more than 250 papers. Most of them didn't get him any fame. Only one finally got him to the place where he wanted to go. And now he's, he's leg a legend. Both of these guys have tried iteratively, innovatively, and ultimately they've reached here. And they haven't so So, okay, Albert Einstein has passed away, but Richard Branson hasn't stopped yet. You never know. Tomorrow he might be launching another the new adventure. So the mindset that we need to go to is we need to try, we need to keep trying. The business landscape right now in this economic crisis is all these economic challenges, global uh, meltdown. This is a, if you consider this, uh, consider this as a game of chess. It's a, yes it is a game of chess, but it has evolving pieces continuously added dimensions so many players being added if we think chess is played between two people go ahead and google it and you'll find out there are so many models of chess that have been launched that have more than two players many more pieces other dimensions added so we should not box our thoughts into a traditional mindset we need to think innovatively out of the box just we need to challenge our own limits that we have set or the industry has set on us. Bye.